Okay, so once you have all of the pieces laid out, and you can see I just kind of have them scattered everywhere. Let's go ahead and scale the arm hand down a little bit. Now we want to create the mirror image of our geometry. So I'm going to delete the history, and I want to make sure I'm going to go into the front view. Let me pull this off. And I want to go into the front view and make sure that everything is lined up. So grabbing the points in the middle, I'm going to hold down X and snap them to the center. You can see if they don't snap, go into your move snap settings and turn off retain component spacing. Make sure you're in a world axis. And you can see there we can snap them directly to the center line. And I'm just moving them in a single axis, holding down X. Same thing up here. And all of these points down here. And let's now check it and just see if there's anything off. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. So we've got our, our object. We've got the UV seams on there. We've got all the UV shells laid out for half of it. Now we can go ahead and mirror it. And so let's go to mesh, mirror. I want to make this merge threshold pretty low, maybe one or 0.5. So nothing is merged that shouldn't be merged. And now we're going to have duplicate UV shells for this. Before we uh, modify this, I am going to come in here on the right on his right side and get rid of this by hitting control delete control delete and this one I will control delete and then I'm just going to take this edge and slide it kind of up here same thing here okay so now we have like I said two halves and so let's go to the torso so here's our torso if we grab this and move it, you can see there's actually two right on top of each other. If we go into shaded UVs, you can see one's red and one's blue. The copy or the, the side that we mirrored is red. And so I want to take this piece right here, go to modify and we'll flip it. So it's blue. And now we're going to come down to the center line on the front. I'm going to get back into my UV tools and I'm going to stitch those together. And so that gives us one complete mesh for the torso. And there may be areas where we need to come in and sew those together. But now we can unfold that and it gives us our torso. All right. Now the shells for the pieces that aren't connected, we can flip them, but we don't have to connect them. So this arm, we can flip it. Okay. So there's two, we can flip it so they're both blue, but we, there's nothing to connect. We don't have to connect them. So now we're going to pull off all these shells. We're going to flip those and then connect them if they are connected in the real world of our scene. And so here it's going to be right along here. And then we can unfold that, get our pants. And then here, let's pull off the leg and flip the other one. Okay, you're going to have to do the same thing with the claws can flip those. The sash we'll need to flip and connect. So we'll stitch that together and unfold. The band, we don't have a band on the other side, so we'll leave that separate. And then this part actually goes with the arm, the other arm. And so we can attach it to the arm geometry, which would be in here, this one. So I'll go ahead and flip it. And then I'm going to cut it where that seam is going to be, stitch it around to the other side, and then we can just pop it right on the end here. I'm going to sew all those together. And then the flesh, just separate them and flip. So you have both sides now. Flip. And this will quickly get you all the pieces that you need. So here's our finger. Grab all those and flip them the hand and then flip all of these and now we've got a nice UV layout here we don't have the layout yet we have all the shells laid out so we can go in and just grab all of these go down to a range and layout and just do a layout and that'll drop everything into this zero to one space 
and then you can check it with your checkerboard and see how that's looking. All right. Now there's obviously there's a little bit of room in here for maximizing your UV space. And so you can go in and tweak that. But the main thing is we've got the body laid out, duplicated, laid out on our UV space. We just need to add our material to it. So go in here and let's create a new material. I'll just create a new blend, call this body. And we can assign this back. All right, now we're ready to go with the body. So we could take that body, make sure our history is deleted, and we can go ahead and hide that. So the next thing we're going to do are the horns and the sash, which are going to be much easier compared to the body. So we'll do that next.